So you know that meme that goes, hey, can I copy your homework? Sure, just change it up a little bit so it doesn't look like you copied it. <laughs> this is the Surface Pro 8 versus XPS 13 2-in-1. Let's go over the raw stats. The Surface Pro 8 is Microsoft's famous premium 2-in-1 laptop that starts at $1,100, while the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 it's pretty much the same thing. Now before we continue, yes, these are very similar devices, but they do have many differences, such as their form factors. Although they both share the same tablet laptop design, each has its own quirks. The Surface Pro 8 has a 13-inch high-resolution 120Hz refresh rate screen that is gorgeous to look at. And while the XPS 13 2-in-1 shares that same resolution and form factor, it doesn't have that 120Hz refresh rate. So it's a small difference, yes, but multiple little ones added up can determine the best laptop overall. So let's keep going. Regarding connectivity, neither device is good at all. Surprisingly, the one-year-old Surface Pro 8 actually has a better port selection than the new XPS 13 2-in-1. Dell could have easily made this a good selling point for its device, but nope just two USB-C. Next, styluses. Both laptops have compatibility with their company respective styluses and even some third-party ones, which are very effective. But when comparing them, Microsoft does seem to be more well-regarded with the masses. However, perhaps it's because the Surface Pen might be used more, so keep that in mind. And now for cameras, two things. One, who uses a camera on a tablet laptop? Two, me. <laughs> But anyway, both laptops have good camera setups that will suffice for most people. So for the external summary, the Surface Pro 8 has a better display, connectivity, and stylus, and it's a tie for both pricing and cameras. Okay, but now, here we go. This is where things turn around. Like I said, the Surface Pro 8 is a year old, meaning it has some outdated specs. By comparison, the new Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 comes with the new 12th Gen Intel processors, which are better performing. Here are the benchmarks. So yeah, pretty solid. And for storage, the XPS 13 also takes the lead because it comes with 512 gigabytes for the starter model. Woo, thank goodness, finally someone listened to our complaints. And that still isn't even enough for $1,100. I firmly believe that there should be one gigabyte for every dollar spent on these devices, but that's just me and probably everyone else too. <laughs> And again, Dell is on a roll because the battery is also better. Allegedly, 12 hours. But hold on for a second here because there are some discrepancies with this information. This is coming from Dell itself not from reviewers, so maybe this information is not the most accurate. The Surface Pro 8 was advertised to have a battery life of about 10 to 16 hours on average, when in reality, it can last for about Eh, six? So can we really trust Dell? The answer is kinda, yeah. Some reviewers have allegedly actually achieved that battery life, but only some, so we're going to be cautiously optimistic with this one. And for operating systems, both devices run Windows 11. So for the internal summary, the XPS 13 2-in-1 has better internal specs, storage, and battery life. So are these devices really that similar? Yes. It's as if Dell looked at the Surface Pro 8 spec sheet and went, hmm, let's do that. They did improve on some expected things like the internals and storage, but overall, yeah, they're really similar. So which is better then? Well, looking at each, the Surface Pro 8 is definitely the innovator, with Microsoft refining its design year after year, so it's definitely more robust. While for Dell, this is the first time the company has used this design, and it seems like it worked. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how Dell was able to pull off this tablet laptop design for its newly refreshed 2-in-1 laptop. Yes, Microsoft does get the credit for the innovation, but I'm glad that Dell has joined the tablet laptop bandwagon. So which one should you buy? Well, given that both these devices are so similar, I actually would maybe recommend you get the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 because it's overall newer. The prices may be the same, but the specs and storage of the XPS are overall better. However, it does not have that 120Hz refresh rate and the port selection is abysmal, so keep that in mind. Additionally, Dell's customer service is known for being a little spotty, so that's why I would maybe recommend the XPS. But with that said, the Surface Pro 8 is a tried and tested product with, yes, a poor battery life, but an overall effective and premium design that has lasted years. So you won't go wrong with either decision. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like C-Rooster. Just take out the tear. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.